Whenever I have grandkids, this will be like the first story I ever tell them. Oh, oh God, they're huge. <laughs> through this is insane. Yeah, I know. It's like a break. No, when I... Are you kidding me? This is yes! it. This is disappointing. Octoburgers. Three what? Octoburgers. I'm sorry, but you'll have to go to California for those on the pier at Most Beach. Oh no, 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 no. We just get like a a, a triple with cheese, uh -huh. and add five extra patties to that. We came in a couple weeks ago, and they said we're doing it for a competition, and uh, it, they said it would be all right. We don't mind if it takes a while. We're just we'll pay. We're, we're paying for it. <laughs> so you want? Do you just want one or three? We need three. Oh, only three? <laughs> only three. Three, three eight, pound, eight patty burgers. <laughs> and uh, only two of them, no cheese. One of them, uh, three pieces of cheese. An Octaburger would cost about a Big Mac to the third power. Mm, no ten bucks. Thirty, thirty-nine. All right. Do you want that? Are they plain or everything on them? Uh, plain. Plain. You're just plain. Uh, are, are you wanting to know the story behind the Octoburger? Uh, the Octoburger started out music theory class last year, fourth period, way over there on the other side of the school, and uh, basically. We found out, hey, if you want to throw in the money, we'll throw in the patties. So we uh, started up a little competition between the guys. Uh, started out with Wes Packard, and uh, he went for four patties, and uh, we thought he was a god for it. I think it's a really good way to free Tibet, because the Tibetans um, are being um, oppressed. And uh, all the Buddhist monks have said the best way to do this is to take an Octoburger and try to fit it in your mouth. And I know this because I talked to the Dalai Lama yesterday and I don't know, whatever. And God said, let there be meat. And there was meat. And that was good. And there were eight patties of it. One for each day. But then he decided that that was stupid to have a patty for every day. So he eliminated one of the days, thus resulting in the patties being more divine than the days of the week. And because of that, we imitated him. But we decided not to imitate him in the sense of copying him. We one-upped him. We went to five, six, but once we hit six, you know, something about seven just didn't seem right. And that whole sound, the Octaburger, you know, it just, it, it had that little sound, you know, little twinge to the name, so I, uh, Decided it was my time to uh, take on the Octoburger. And then uh, Don over here decided he was gonna try too. Kevin and Biden, man, didn't just decide. Yeah. Like it was the night before it was your birthday party, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, at and. The, at the shack. Anyway, that's a tale for a different documentary. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh dear Jesus. <laughs> what have we created? I'm excited. 
Here, Robert, you get the hold. Yeah. Look at this. You gotta get a shot of this. Do you know that your son? Do you know that your son is about to eat an eight patty hamburger? Well, do you know there's a customer behind? And they're driving away. No, she got her coffee. Oh, good. I'm talking about the one that's behind. Okay, yeah, they were. Yeah, they were finished. Hoffman's gonna win. Yeah, it's these two against Aiden. Gonna win what? The Octaburger Challenge. You just win. You don't get anything. Well, you're supposed to be working. I have to leave. I told you guys this last week. Mm -hmm. Tell me what? That I needed to leave early today. For what? The Octaburger Challenge. No, I don't remember that at all. This is very important, serious business. Yeah. Look at this. No coffee. Yeah, he, he needs that. The first that is charging his feet. What is that? Coffee, it looks like. <laughs> In the pot? Aiden may be fat. Yeah, this is fat's but, got nothing to do yeah, with how much your um, stomach can take. There's, um, this guy was weighed less than me, I think. Or, I, uh, I was like, proportionally. Six foot three, 160. There was, there's nothing to me. I'm five foot eight, 150. So. And he beat me, so I mean, it's not really weight. Aiden, I don't know. He could do it, maybe, if he really tried. Really, plus, I mean, it's not really so much the amount of food we're talking about here. We're talking about size. I mean, the Octoburger itself is probably about that big. I mean, to force that into your mouth, yeah, you gotta, little... like, it's hard. It's a bit difficult. I don't know. I don't have much experience with Aiden's mouth, so I can't really. It's not big enough. All right. Yeah. Why? Hmm? Yeah. I'm gonna wash dishes. Wow. All right. Hey, show it, my boy. Show it. Just because you're tired, it doesn't mean you'll be able to eat better. I got love you. Love the Lancasters. They're amazing people. But you're still going to kick Aiden's ass, aren't you? Elliot. I mean. Heck yeah. Heck yes. Mess me up, Corey. Hey, he cursed first, though. Yeah. So technically, I'm not a fault. And ass is worse than hell. Exactly. <laughs> ass it is goes, a real thing. It goes like, it's like damn. Now you're offending. Now you're offending our Christian audience. No, it's like hell, hell, damn, ass. I have nothing against Christians. Bastard. You just, you just told them that their, their underworld douche. does not exist. <laughs> oh my. Bitch is worse. Douche is worse than bitch. Okay. Okay, douche bitch. <laughs> douche. So I said the B words. I call people douches all the time. It's a term of endearment. <laughs> I'm starving, so. I'm also very hungry. And I have superpowers.